Okay, we're all done. Um, here they are here on the plate, ready to go into the. That's the centering furnace there. Actually, that's my my burnout furnace going at the moment. I'll get into that in a sec. Um, I've arranged them here. Well, I've also got a, another stray bit here, which I'm just going to fire along with them. Now yeah, I'll just put it there. That should be okay. They shouldn't stick together because they'll, they'll shrink as they go. Okay, sorry about that. But, um, that's it there. This kiln operates with two. They're metal um, elements, but they go to such a high temperature that they've formed like a ceramic melt sort of around them. But I don't know if you can see that, but they're very, very shiny, like a ceramic one would be. But because I have broken them, they're quite expensive. They're two thousand dollars to replace those those two elements there and they they break quite easily so anyway bad luck on that one uh, I'll it over turn it on oh by the way too uh, there you go I went through one two three four five six drills that's uh, it's a bit harder to drill than I thought it would be. Uh, that's program three. I went program two. I'm just programming. No, program three is the fast one. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Turn around to run. Should be running. Program three. Cool. Now that's the fast program. So in about five hours, five and a half hours, that should be done. And um, I'll take them out and I'll do another video tomorrow about that. But in the meantime, this might interest Jeff because I saw on his website he was doing a little bit of casting. Um, in his backyard for the place for his uh, printing machine, 3D printer. Uh, I do casting as well here. That's my casting machine there. This is an induction casting machine. It's a pressure, vacuum pressure induction now. That's the chamber in here. That's the air hole. That's the vacuum hole. That's the crucible holder in there, and this is the induction coil, and that's the ring holder there. That's spring loaded. Now, when I close this, actually, I've got a cast to do, so I'll run you through it. Um, there's the crucible, it's got the metal in it. What I've got to do first is pre-melt it. Now, at this stage, I've got to turn this off because otherwise it'll trip my power circuit out because this thing draws some current. Now, it's my alloy there. Zero second. Pre-melt. Now, through the peep hole here, you should be able to see there you go. The metal is melting just on its own. There's no. There's no flame on it, there's nothing, it's just through eddy currents being formed. 
by the strong magnetic fields that are formed in the machine. But um, it's also in a vacuum chamber. Now that chamber that I showed you before, that metal chamber that are closed, uh, when they close now, this machine will, will pull a vacuum first, then melt the metal. The effect that that has is that it um, prevents oxide, or minimises oxide, I should say. Now, here we go, the metal's starting to slump now. What I'm doing at the moment is pre-melting the metal because, it, as you can see, it takes a little while to melt such a, an amount of metal because this is um, chrome, basically. It's, it's a chrome alloy. It's, most, it's chrome, molybdenum, indium, gallium, and a few other metals like that. But it melts quite high. So 